Fuck. Okay, welcome back to another episode of the What Are You Saying Boys podcast. Today we have a special guest. It's the fucking Wowen. The Wowen Barbaro. Wowen Barbaro. Wowen. Adam. The Yowen. The Yowen. What's going on? <laughs> oh, you know, just happy to be here having my Hennessy with the lads. Welcome, you know? Drew. Cheers. Yeah, honored uh, first special guest. I'm down. I have yeah. to have you on before you take off, man. You yeah, excited? Man. Well, like. Tell everyone what you're doing. Uh, moving to Vancouver for uh, barber school here in a bit. Well, obviously. Excited, more than nervous, but a little nervous though. Like more, not nervous, but like just like I'm leaving so much behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's all like I'm used to, you know, like mm-hmm. just yeah. home. Like Vancouver is gonna be a good experience. I finally get to do like the education that I wanted for like for barber barbering. I've been barbering for like about like two and a half years now. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah. So why Vancouver? Why not Edmonton? Well, I've always thought about. Like, I've obviously re- done my research, and, like, there's a bunch of schools I could go to here, but I don't know. I just wanted to, like, take a shot, like, a different route, mm-hmm. different route of life, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, like, I could go to school here, get my shit done, whatever. Can I swear? I'm swear. Yeah, you yeah. can yeah. swear. You're okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, this would be a good life experience for me. You know, I like, remember, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I remember you saying that you wanted to go to Vancouver because there was... Like a good program for like yep. like movies and stuff and like the the art industry more so. They have like the school I'm going to. They have good like tie-ins with them. So like I feel like like like, like with that like, just like opening new doors. You know, like I'm very limited to like what I could like it's just Edmonton in general. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just very limited. Like I'm and I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing now. Kind of yeah. just like, I like stop. I feel like I've stopped growing here. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I need to go somewhere. And like I picked Vancouver because, well, one they're like, the school is pretty sick. Mm-hmm. And then two. It's just, like, it's not that far away from home. Like, I've looked at, like, other places, like, around Canada to mm-hmm. go to. But, mm-hmm. I mean, like, Vancouver is, like, what, a 12-hour drive. And, like, it's, like, a flight. Like, I go there all the time with my family, too. Like, mm-hmm. I've been going there ever since I was a kid. So, like, I know the city kind of. Mm-hmm. Like, not too well, but, like, I, I know my way around. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, like, the best option if I, like, want to move to, like, another, like, major city. Vancouver is mm-hmm. big. It's so much stuff going yeah. on there, you know? Like, I, I kind of, like, needed, like, a big, like, 180. Not, like... I'd be okay with working like from like here, like working at home, but like you need to step out of your. I wanted zone. to, I wanted to like step out and like kind of grow mm-hmm. in a different place, and like there's just so much distractions in Edmonton. Like mm-hmm. I, you guys know, like every weekend, like I could go to school here, or whatever. I'll di- get my school done, whatever. Like I'll, I'll be a barber, like like officially, but mm-hmm. it's also like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Hey, what mm-hmm. are you doing? What are you doing tomorrow? You want to hang out? This mm-hmm. and that. Like, mm-hmm. Too much distractions. No, you know? sure. You're going to house... turn up in Vancouver too, yeah. though. Oh, obviously. Oh, 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 oh yeah. My main goal, obviously, is get my shit done, get, get get it figured out, but also, like, not just party, turn up, but, like, just make connections, you meet know? Like, have a good time. Meet people. This is exactly people, yeah. why I want to go to Vancouver for school. Mm-hmm. Is like, I could probably get the same education here for cheaper. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, I want to go there, meet the people there. The industry's popping. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's people there who know what they're doing. Especially for what I want to do. Like, that's not really happening in Edmonton. Mm-hmm. And, like, being a barber in a dope place where there's dope people, mm-hmm. yeah. you never know who you're going to meet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's the thing with being, a, with, with being a barber, too. Like, a lot of people, like, don't really think about it, but I meet a lot of people being mm-hmm. a barber. Like, mm-hmm. I make a lot for of connections. Sure. I know a guy that does this and I like a guy that does that. And yeah. not only that, but, like, I got to know people, like, on a personal level, which is, like, why I, like, I pride myself on, like, how I get people into my chair because, like, People come, like, yeah, I do a good haircut. Mm-hmm. There's other barbers that could do the same haircut. Mm-hmm. But I, like, it's just, like, the, the experience, like, mm-hmm. in my chair, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like they, like, sometimes, like, I feel like I'm, like, a therapist in some yeah. ways. You yeah. know, like, I'll be kind of people, and they'll just be, like, telling me things that I don't need to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like, like oh, yeah, stories. this about my girlfriend, or this about, like, my kid, or this about, like, my dog. I got, like, mm-hmm. sure, like, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, if you need to talk to me, talk to me, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? That's cool. I like that's that. Cool. Yeah. It's nice. So you're like a little vent. Yeah, kind that's... Of a little vent. Yeah. You're like... Yeah, he knows, man. Yeah. That's why I chose to be like a barber. Like, at first, I thought it would just be like, yeah, I cut hair. I get to like chill, you know, meet people, whatever. But it's also like... I don't know. It grew into like like a community. Like my own community, you know, mm-hmm. like my own business. Yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah. So what made you actually like... Other than Wanna that, like, what kind of like, yeah, transitioned you into like wanting to become well, an Well, if we're or, like... I'll bring it all the way back because it's a podcast and mm-hmm. like, I feel like people should know the whole story. Yeah, but 
when I was a kid, like mm-hmm. my dad being very Asian and very cost efficient, mm-hmm. would just bought a pair of clippers, like some Corsair shitty clippers from Walmart, and he just cut my mom and my brother's hair, and then we cut each other's hair, and like we just mm-hmm. go buzz. So that's my, that was my haircut. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I go bald, whatever. And the first time I actually got like a sick fade, like I've I've gone to salons before and like like gone like gone and done like before like for like weddings and like like funeral stuff like that, but I've never actually had like a barber to like, mm-hmm. go to until like grade like, grade nine or like grade ten. I remember the first time I went, AC took me to Jules, mm-hmm. which is he now he run, now runs Compound, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, like uh, I remember going there for the first time and it gave me a sick fade, like. And at the time, it wasn't like the craziest, but like I got a fade and I thought it was like, whoa, man, mm-hmm. like, that's like, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So like, I just started going there like more and more. And like, eventually, like I found myself like chilling there, like after I get my hair cut and like talking to Jules and like, that's like what I'm saying. Like when I made a connection with my clients, mm-hmm. that's what kind of Jules like mm-hmm. caught, had with me. Like we connected and like, I, I just thought like I'd sit there and watch him cut and like, it was like, it was sick. So I was like. One day I was remember when I worked at a superstore, mm-hmm. like I worked from like eleven p.m. to the seven night shift, seven a.m. Yeah. night shift, and I was like, it was an okay job, like it was whatever. It got it got the bills paid, whatever. But yeah, I was just like one day I was sitting there, I was like, man, like I need to find something that I want to do in life, mm-hmm. like you know, like that's why I like helped out from like doing school and stuff. Like I took out the year off. I was like doing like the limo thing, mm-hmm. and like I was like, I can't be doing this for like the rest of my life. I need to find something that like I enjoy doing. I kind of just talked back, and I was like. Well, what do I like doing? Like, I'm, I'm chilling at the barbershop all the time. Might as well, like, just do that. But, like, I never, I held off. Like, it, it was just in my head. Like, I was just, like, for mm-hmm. a couple of weeks, like, a month, I was just sitting there, like, well, I need to find something. And one day, I was just, it was, like, 6 a.m. And, like, we were, like, there was so much shit we were doing at, at Superstore. I was, like, man, F this job. I, I was, like, that. I was, like, I hate this. I feel mm-hmm. So, the next day, it was a Friday. Fucking selling limos, whatever. I was, like, man, I need to get a haircut before I go out to previous. So, I was, okay. Go get a haircut. And I was just sitting there, I'm watching Jules work, and he's just going. I'm just like, man, like, do you need like any skill like to be a barber? Do you need me like a talent? He's like, no, man, like I could teach you. You know, like he's like, anyone could be a barber. You just have to put the time in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like the next day, he brought me to Sally's beauty beauty salon. Gave him 500 bucks. I said, like, get me what I need. He got me what I needed, and then I just started like yeah. shadowing him, just like mm-hmm. watching him cut, and then like. I started, <clears throat> I told the boys, I was like, yo, I'm going to start cutting hair. And like, obviously I wasn't the most confident. Like my brother, like my first, my first haircut was Matt. Sh- no, not Matt. Oh, I thought it was Matt. My brother. Yeah, Matt's oh. over there. Fucking my I was the first. <laughs> yeah. I thought I remembered it being my, Matt. No, it was, it was my brother. Okay. And I put on the wrong guard and I ended up shaving a bald spot in his head. So I just ended up shaving him bald. <laughs> I remember that all was the boys that when were you laughing. Guys cut the dick into his no, into no, his no. Hair that was like later <laughs> that was on. a different time. But it was just like I just shaved them ball, and that night we went out, and then I was just like all the boys were laughing. I was like, okay, that's motivation, you know? Like I just I just need to keep working at it. Mm-hmm. Then I started doing other boys, and like I gave out a lot of like pretty like bad haircuts. Like I don't Matt, like, yeah, I gave him pretty, I gave him a pretty bad haircut. I remember and I was that. Like, <laughs> but it was just like. You know, just like just keep the motor going. You know, just like don't give up. Yeah, you just. Yeah. I mean, it's it. interesting to see because I remember when you cut Matt's hair and it was like it was horrible. It was horrible. Oh yeah. And to see <laughs> how far you've come because I come to you regularly now and yeah. I walk away happy every time. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's it's, it's cool a growing experience, man. Yeah. That's why like now like now like me moving to Vancouver, it's like that next step. It's like that next step. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, okay, I've I've exhausted. Like I'm so comfortable. Like waking up, cutting hair, doing this, mm-hmm. going to the gym, fucking seeing the homies. And now I just like, I need to go somewhere, remove myself from that, so I could like, kind of like, and it's like hard because like I have my clientele, I have my friends, I have my family. Yeah, you have like, your I have to cut like everything like, down and just like start from the bottom. But like, mm-hmm. when you look at it, like from when I first started barbering, it's like that's just gonna happen again, just mm-hmm. in a different city. You just know? gotta take so, one yeah. step back to take two re- steps forward. Dude. I can relate to what you're saying about Superstore because I used to work at Superstore too. Yeah, the same one, right? Soul sucking. Yeah, the same place. Oh, that's yeah. a soul sucking job. So I can I can see why that was your push to yeah. to better yourself into something. It's also just like I don't want to be like, you know, like most people that go to school. Oh yeah, I just do this just to have like that title. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just like, well, I need to find something that I enjoy doing, like mm-hmm. just being at the barbershop. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it. If I don't like it, then at least I tried. You mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and look how far you've come. Exactly. And yeah. now I'm moving to a new city, trying to grow myself even more. Mm-hmm. Right. So. It's kind of cool that you're like able to take your passion and kind of monetize it like the way that you've been able to like 
really love your job whereas like mm-hmm. some people don't get that or just don't take the time to make that effort and like i said like it's one of those scenarios where like you take one step back to take two steps forward you know mm-hmm. what i mean that a lot of people aren't willing to do like you said you're leaving your family you're leaving your foundation your yeah. clients but you're also taking that step back to you know better your future and it's kind of mm-hmm. it's kind of something a lot of people don't take and it's good and i feel like we're all gonna miss you a lot mm-hmm. but like Big it's time. gonna be it's gonna be a very very healthy i think experience for you and you're gonna come back a very different person but the same person you know what i mean it's a lot of mixed emotions mm-hmm. but i know that that's what's gonna be like mm-hmm. like in vancouver right like there's gonna be times where i come and be like i'm gonna see all the boys like especially summertime coming up i'll see all the boys like, mm-hmm. party and like that's my life man mm-hmm. like i i I work on the week the week or the weekdays, see my family once in a while, like and then hang out with the boys, mm-hmm. drink, like hit the piss, do whatever, do whatever man. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. But now I just like cut all that out of my life, you know, just I need to focus mm-hmm. and then, like figure out different things. You know? And that's okay. I think yeah. it's a difficult as well because there's a lot of risk involved in that, oh, yeah. especially moving oh, yeah. to Vancouver based on how expensive it is. Like it oh, took yeah. you a while to find something that was a good price. I'm just, yeah, but I'm just, like, very optimistic about mm-hmm. everything, you know? Yeah, I remember. I was like, I was, and you're like, ah, you know what, man? I'm not even worried about it. So yeah, I'm not up. even worried about it's it. And then, come up. Aaron, see, if you guys don't know Aaron Seum, he's been a good friend of mine since I was, like, 10, 10, 11. But I don't know where he's like, hey, man, you moving to Vancouver? I'm like, yeah, I'm still moving to Vancouver. He's like, when are you going? Me? He's like, I'm going to me. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I got a job. I'm like, so you want to be roommates? And at first, I was like... This guy, like, does he even want a roommate? But I, was, I remember he was, like, this guy lived in a frat house with, like, 15 guys. He, was, like, <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care if he yeah. has a roommate. So, I mean, it just worked out perfectly, you know? Like, he has to, like, we found a nice place downtown. Well, hopefully, we're still trying to get approved on that. Like, like good luck to us, but. Are you still waiting for approval on that? On yeah, because, like, okay. I mean, there's a lot of, I don't want to, like, yeah, yeah. Podcast, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on with that. But we're probably, we probably most likely, like, 90% chance we got the place. Mm-hmm. But, um. Yeah, it's just like nice because like before, like even like just by myself, like yeah, I was very confident going there like by myself, but it was also just like what if this, what if that, you know, like what if this happens mm-hmm. there. But now that like especially like Aaron, like someone I've known for so long, like to come out with me, it's kind of like nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like we're just like I have at least like not even just like in the aspect of a roommate, but like I at least I have someone like to come home to and be like yo how was your day you, you guys just yeah. kind of lean on yeah. each other you're not you gonna be super fucking so lonely mm-hmm. yeah exactly that, that would suck funny thing yeah. is uh after we uh put in our uh application for this place me and Aaron around FaceTime we just like he's like we're gonna live with each other hey and we just started dying laughing <laughs> yeah. we do the dumbest things yeah. together so like hopefully we, we could keep each other on track though mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's cool. I think it'll be probably just knowing the two of you guys. I think it'll be a good mix of like, you know, you're both in a new city. Mm-hmm. You're both trying to get a new focus, level of focus. You know what I yeah. mean? You're both trying to push each other for that. But yeah. I know you yeah. and I know him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like it's going to be a good it'll, time. It'll, it'll, it'll get off. Time. It'll derail I'm, when it needs to derail. Yeah. <laughs> and also it's That's like, I it. say I'm going to miss all you guys and like whatever. It's my life. But like. I already have so much of you guys like, oh yeah, I'm gonna come to Vancouver this day. And Lucas like, I'm gonna, Lucas said he's like, yeah, I'm gonna come over a couple times. And like Raymond, Raymond Clemente, he's co- he's coming for, he's getting his ta- he's getting his tattoo done in uh, Vancouver. Mm-hmm. And like he's coming there on the 18th of May. He's like, yeah, I need somewhere to stay. So like, I, like realistically, I'm leaving, but there's always gonna be people coming. Mm-hmm. coming I don't know. That's why it's like that's why Vancouver's it's, it's right there. It's, mm-hmm. just, it's just the province over. You know? Yeah, so, I'm pretty right. confident with with what's gonna happen with you because you already took a risk. You know, even starting your own oh, yeah. business. I think that's one of the big things. You don't know if you're gonna get clients. You know, this is, oh, yeah. this is how you're making your well being. Mm-hmm. And you took a risk and you succeeded. So I, I'm confident in your ability to succeed in Vancouver. As well. Thank you, man. Well, just, you, you're you're a personable ass guy. Mm-hmm. You're a lovable dude. You Thank know, you. you show love to people like you. You're... I didn't expect to get hyped up like this. No, but... trust me. That's why we. That's why we love you. We love you. Yeah, yeah, We want everybody to know what's good and like you're, like you're a popular dude. People know you. You treat everybody with respect. Mm-hmm. You know that's why people come back. Just be humble. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I don't think you're gonna have a problem getting new clients. You're gonna meet people in Vancouver, and they're gonna show you the same amount of love people here do. No, yeah, I don't think so. I'm very optimistic. You mm-hmm. know, like I'm very like I'm gonna get this done, and like even like when shit's like going sideways, like even like now, like some like especially with COVID, like some days I'll like have like no clients come in. I'll just be like, oh man, like I feel like a bum. But then like the next day I'll have like two, three, four clients, and then like some days I'll have like eight clients come in, nine mm-hmm. clients, and just like 
that's what like on the bad days it's just like think about like times when like you have like you're really busy you know? mm -hmm. yeah yeah just appreciate those little successes mm -hmm. that happen along the way <clears throat> what uh what's your what's your i know it's like there's a lot and it's gonna be hard to pick but like what do you think is your favorite memory with the boys From favorite memory the with the boys <laughs> I could sit here and think for like yeah that is bad. Like years. That's all, that's all <laughs> Don't think too hard. Just be like, just like want something that made you smile real big. Like, there's don't a think lot. too hard. There's just a first lot. thing to come to your brain. I'd can, say the I first time we all linked up when Ken put down, uh, put together Tanner's birthday and like it's definitely like oh yeah just like yeah, seeing everyone good. like drinking like mm -hmm. they shot the like everybody plus they like shot the everybody. Mm -hmm. that was amazing. I'd say that just like in terms of like. How I feel. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like making really made it. everybody feel like family. I think. Yeah. Big time. Speaking on that as well, uh, I know that you were doing something with Tanner's Totes. Oh yeah. Did you want to elaborate? On um, it was kind of like well, if you don't know what Tanner's Totes is, uh, Kim Krupa, um, Tanner's mom, kind of like put the. If you all know Tanner passed away, unfortunately, he was like a victim of homicide, and all of us have kind of been struggling with it. But um, yeah, Kim put together the Tanner's Totes just kind of help out the community, try and get like information about like what happened to Tanner. And like I thought, you know, like might as well like with my platform and like the, the my clients and like no one jewels and like how he has like a big like he has compound and all his people like might as well just do some do good with it, you know. Mm -hmm. like, so I just put out a video, you know, um, come help donate whether it's money or like essential goods, like donate here or like at my place or a compound, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just. Collecting stuff for Kim, like she deserves it, especially with COVID. Like mm -hmm. she needs as much help as she needs. Cause like we're doing like, are you guys? Are any of you guys gonna come to Surrey when we hand out those totes? What I don't, I don't know. I actually haven't like heard. That. Hopefully, I haven't heard much about that. Hopefully. Neither have I. Hopefully. Oh well, we're doing. We're handing out totes in June in Surrey. In Surrey, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause there's a there's a big there's homelessness a... issue in Surrey, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're bro. My family lives in Surrey, so I'm, I'm there all the time. The homeless people there are mean, man. Yeah. The homeless people yeah, there are, are. are rude. Yeah, I remember one time when I was in Vancouver, I, was, I think I was like six years old, and there's homeless people all around Vancouver, and I got like a dollar in my, I had a dollar in my pocket, and I seen this homeless guy with his like hat out, and I just like tossed him a dollar, and he like stood up and like freaked out at me, because he's like, this isn't enough, you know, I'm starving oh, yeah. here, and I just remember that, um, but yeah, I mean, I would be pretty pissed too, you know, if I'm starving, mm -hmm. and someone just tosses you something there. Well, they get... I don't know the way I think it was better than tossing you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fucking throwing some air at that guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. My That's dad like, like had to stand up and get in the way. He's I like, like yeah. I like the like the nice like. There's this guy I've known since I was a kid. Like he's same jacket. Always he's, uh, the Seven Eleven by my place in Barif. Mm -hmm. He always stood out there and like he never asked for anything. I just like tell him, hey, come inside. You know, he'll grab whatever you want, and then he'll grab like a. He always grabs like a one liter of like the aloe vera like drink, and he's oh, he's so yeah. happy. He's like, thank you, and he'll grab like maybe like like a like a piece of pizza or something. Well, thank you yeah. so much. And he always stands out there. He doesn't bother anyone. He doesn't ask for anything. Mm -hmm. he, just, he just stays there. Like I said, those are the homeless people who need to help. Mm -hmm. and sometimes like, exactly. he'll be driving on like 97th and there's those guys like standing on the corner and you're just like, you never really know like what they're going to mm -hmm. be doing with that. They could be like all working together, like, mm -hmm. buying drugs and stuff. But yeah, you never know the story. Like even with that guy, uh, when I was younger, you know, he might have just been super frustrated because yeah. it's a frustrating it's situation. Really he was, yeah. But then some some homeless people, you know, they also choose that life because that's just what it is. It is very true. That very, was like, very true. Like this one time, we're doing Tanner's totes, and this one lady, she grabs a bag, and then she's standing over by the garbage, she picks out all the things that she needs, and then she throws the rest in the garbage, mm -hmm. and it's like. Why would you like at least if you're gonna do it, do it so, not in front of us? You know, we, we got the all the yeah, so exactly. disrespectful. So disrespectful. So disrespectful. Yeah, but I mean, like that's like I mean that's the attitude that put them on the streets. But like, mm -hmm. try and help them out as much mm -hmm. as you can, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what are um, I guess like you don't have to have like a for sure answer, but like what are your end goals with barbering? Like what do you see yourself in the future? That's the thing. I don't have like everyone has these like for their careers like five year plan all this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. And that's like the beautiful thing about it, I think. Like like I'm going to Vancouver, like I have like to see like what options I have. Mm -hmm. Like I don't have like a set plan, but I know at the end of it, so it's gonna be I'm gonna choose something that I enjoy doing. You mm -hmm. wanna be happy. And that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's like whether it's opening up my own barber shop or working at another barber shop or like doing like celebrity cuts like I was talking to you, like or like just being like a like at home barber, like a traveling barber, like 
I don't know, man. It's, you're going there to find out. I'm going there to find out. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. I think that's yeah. kind of nice that you're going into that with an open mm-hmm. mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really very cool. open to, like, I'm not like, so, like I need to do this. That's what takes away from everything else. You yeah, because like, that's how you miss opportunities. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even, like, yeah, barbering is my, like, my, my main goal is barbering. Mm-hmm. But, like, what if like, there's something out there, like, especially, like, with barbering, I, you make so much connection and stuff, right? What if there's something, like, I also want to do? For sure. That could also just be, like, another side income or, like, another, like, job I could do, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. A lot of doors mm-hmm. open, right? So. And barbering is one of those things that it's easy enough thing to do alongside something else. Oh, yeah. Like, yes, oh, you yeah. can do it full time and do just that, but you can yeah. also do that and do all your other mm-hmm. stuff, yeah, you know, which is, is very convenient. which is super dope. And he's in a unique situation that not a lot of people get. He's his own boss, right? He chooses oh, yeah. when he wants to work. It has its advantages and disadvantages. Because mm-hmm. some days I feel so lazy, or like <laughs> some days it'll be like I'll just wake up so hungover, and it's like I did this. Like, but sometimes I'm like I don't want to like open the door and let this person in and cut their hair, but. Mm-hmm. I made the decision to get drunk tonight, mm-hmm. so I have to like this is my business. I have to get up and do it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah that happened to me once. Yeah. I, I I biked over to Wawa's because I was like, Jesus Christ, I need some some physical exercise yeah. here. So I get up and I get on my bike, and it's like, what? It was like an eleven a.m. cut maybe. Yeah, I but it was like, was like a Sunday or something, or on a Saturday. Sunday or some shit. Yeah. Like that. I pull up and I call Wawa, and he's like, bro, what? <laughs> this guy's like, bro, what? <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Let me just come get the door. And I, I, this guy opens the door. He's like, yo, just come and sit down for like 10 minutes. Like, I got a shower. Yeah. And like, I am. Yeah. And I was like, no, dude, like, I can come back. And he's like, no, no, no. He's like, we're going to do this yeah. right now. Well, well if you, you could cut to. one celebrity's hair, who could, who would it be? You got to think of the, think of the lettuce, man. Whose lettuce do you want to be cut? I'd say like, more in like, bro, Jeff Bezos? lettuce, Carter McDavid. Really? Just cut the flow, man. Just be like, yo. Word. Actually, wait. Actually, <laughs> wait. That's some Edmonton actually, shit to say. Actually, wait. I just said that because we're in Edmonton. But to be honest, probably like any like NBA player, because they're on the court, and you know, like, if like someone's like it? shooting a free throw, like, got oh, a close up, be like, yo, that hair's like, you know, like how Zion has like the, like the thing, like this little mm-hmm. side of his yeah, hair. Like, yeah. say that I did that, and like have like an NBA player. NBA like reaches all around the world, right? Mm-hmm. So I just like, Sure. Yo, who cut who cut Zion's hair? You know, mm-hmm. something like that. Either that or like Zac Efron, someone like really cute. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so like, the girls be like, who cut this guy's hair? You know, <laughs> <We're> help. <Yeah. laughs> that's exactly. Your, that's using your brain. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. No, no one like in specific, but no one, someone that I know that would like make a big impact and like something like a post on social media and be like, yo, I got my hair cut from this guy, and then like, yeah. instantly just like, for boom, sure. You know. Word. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I can't wait till you guys uh, come to Vancouver to check out my oh, spot. I'm coming. I'm coming this summer for sure. There's a couple yes, things I want to do man. there. I want to come. Hopefully, I come. I, I know. I think I don't think of Liam because I think he. We talked about before. Maybe I'll come out to Kelowna if I'm not too busy. Yeah, it's not far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah if you're not, hours. when when does school start? May 18th or something. Oh, so it's like. Yeah. Are you like 10 It's days a summer then? team. Yeah. yeah. Summer yeah. through summer Have through until the summer. I've been to Kelowna twice or once when I was like when I was really really young though I've only ever been there like before I was like like, like before I was twelve yeah. like I don't really remember what, even what it looks like yeah. to be honest. I'd like you to come because we're getting some stupid stuff. Oh yeah, I want to be there like uh, when like. And it's fucking beautiful. Up, like, it's a beautiful yeah. place. It's the California of Canada, man. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's the hills. It's the sun. It's the water. Like it's not the ocean, mm-hmm. but it's, it's very blessed. Lake. I don't know, man. That lake, the ocean. Very that lake, you just feel new and refreshed. No, Kalamata is better than the Okanagan. Which lake are you guys talking about? Mali, the bro, Okanagan. BC Okanagan? lakes. Yeah. BC lakes are just BC fire. lakes. Yeah, yeah. And then yes. you get Alberta lakes. They're all just so like muddy and peaty. Shit. I hate them. No, okay. What's nice about my place, the place that me and Aaron are getting, is um, it's like a ten minute walk to the closest beach, and mm-hmm. it's like. That's whenever really I'm just like, fire. that's really nice. Whenever I'm just like chilling inside, like man, I need to get out, just walk, mm-hmm. ride a bike or something. I'll go around go. the seawall. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like, wait, no, go ahead. No, I was gonna say worst case since worst case Ontario. It's like it doesn't even really snow a whole lot there. It just mm-hmm. rains like yeah. once or twice. But it like, rains. Like the whole city like shuts down when it snows there. No, man. it gets cold, bro, because the wind comes off of the ocean. The ocean it gets yeah. so cold it's in the winter. It's a humid cold. Yeah, it's it's very uncomfortable. I don't like it. It's it's annoying. Um, I was gonna <laughs> ask. Says like that he's lived there. I was gonna no. I've, I've been there in the winter. Oh um, Mondays, bro. Mondays it gets so cold, <laughs> man. Uh, but um, Mondays are cold, last day. <laughs> I was gonna say, 
Is there a ferry that goes to Victoria from Vancouver? Yeah, yeah there so is. You go, have you been to Victoria? Yeah, much no, better. I want to go to there. Victoria. It goes to uh, Nanaimo. Nanaimo. I want to yeah. go to Victoria. I heard of Victoria is beautiful. That's one thing I was going to ask Victoria's you if you're going to do while you The right Capitol there. building there is actually, like, so it's not that nice. big, but it's so nice. Oh, yeah, and that really city is, like, it's stone. Mm-hmm. It's, like, stone, very, yeah. like... Wow. That's a, very European. It's like you're in a different world. It's wow. very Victorian. Like, it doesn't look, like, very Canadian. I don't know if that... That's the thing, right? Very I good. heard uh, Tofino has like the, some of the best waves in the world. Oh, well, I've been there. Uh, that's why. The place I, is cool. Why it's a little there. like hippie mm-hmm. surf town. Beautiful, like that. I think it's called Long Beach. Mm-hmm. Or I can't remember. Is it Long Beach in California? There's Long Beach, California, but I'm pretty sure there's also Long Beach Tofino. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's not Long Beach, but it's a long ass mm-hmm. beach. Oh, it's a long. <laughs> beach. Oh, <laughs> I don't okay. know. I went there once when I was a kid absolutely beautiful yeah yeah i just so, remember it's literally like surfer vibes bro they have like little little surf shops and hot that's what i'm saying up. sometimes i just want to pack up everything and just get move the there and just get open up fuck. a little little surf shack and just man surfing looks so hard yeah. sometimes sometimes simple life. surfing looks so hard sometimes i see people like living out of like like the van like living out of vans or something mm-hmm. like volkswagen like vans i'm just like man i'd love to live that life just like on the road all the yeah, time for but like then, a couple years bro. but then sometimes you're just like man sure. i just you're just like, man, yeah. I need Stinky. a shower or something, yeah. bro. Or like, you need like, a, like I don't know. I think those people always like find like odd jobs and stuff. Like I need mm-hmm. like a set job. Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just work over a couple months and then just save that money. And then they yeah. just live out of their van and do whatever they want. I, w- I would like to do that at some point, but just like for a little bit, just to, just to see, you know, I'm just so used to my life. I go to work, wake up, same thing, routine. It'd just be nice to just go on an adventure and do something different every day, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and just live like a super simple. Yeah, you know, wake up, enjoy the view, and drink my yeah, coffee. Exactly. Go for a little rip in my van to the next spot. Like, seems it seems know. less stressful in a way because you're not worried about the bills and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like that life. You're just like life. you're just kind of living like what I want to do today, mm-hmm. you know, or like yeah. where I want to where do I want to go see. Or and I feel like, like there's a lot of people doing that right now for like the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. Hell, of people I feel go and do that, and they buy like the but they're balling already, and they go get this six sprinter van. And it's all Instagrammable, yeah. you know what I mean? See, that's kind of posting it on the ground, but they're not really doing it. Mm-hmm. That's kind of that's kind of what I think. That's about just it too. a notion. If I if I was gonna do it, I would want to make the money first, and then and then do it, and then because then it. you can do it. Yeah, yeah. What happens if you're hungry? You, you don't really have no stress yeah. about like figuring out how you're gonna pay for this and that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, what kind of bills you have? Gas. Gas and insurance. And like repairs to your vehicle. Yeah. Maintenance. Yeah. Probably yeah, maintenance. Is, I feel like maintenance is like, depending on how much you like to travel, is probably like your mm-hmm. big, uh, biggest expense sometimes. Man. That's what like Sean White just lives the life, man. He just snowboards in the winter and then goes and surfs in the summer. Like, what a he surfs too? Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Surfing's yeah, like surfing, life. like I can't even wrap my head around it. I would love to try The boys it. need to go on like on a crazy road trip. That's one of my favorite things, like in terms of vacation. Like, yeah, you can fly to like. Mexico or like Puerto Rico, like all, the, all those places. A but resort, like, yeah. It's but like different. hitting the road and like meeting all the people and like just like mm-hmm. learning, like seeing like how people live, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like hitting the road, like that's like my favorite form of travel. Like you I get love, a little greasy for a bit. Bro, the amount you of times I've driven to Vancouver and back, and like my family been like Seattle a bunch of times mm-hmm. and like down in California and like, uh, road trips are fun. Though. And I think I've never been to Cali, bro. I think it's unique in our situation too because we have the mountains right there and there's just like lots of hikes and stuff and mm-hmm. people that go on these hikes that you can meet you know so mm-hmm. i think it's definitely we have a bit of an advantage yeah. to try something like that mm-hmm. like imagine just living like nebraska mm-hmm. i'm gonna take a road trip to wisconsin yeah which <laughs> weird but, but to where bro imagine living in fucking alaska i alaska. Alaska. Alaska is actually, like, take a road trip like Anchorage. literally where to the Northwest Territory. Well, like, they yeah. have cruises in Alaska, and they actually look pretty sick. Yeah. Like, cruises, I would go on an Alaskan cruise, man. Those yeah, but they come, back, cool. they come back down, though. Yeah. You know, they come back down. What do you mean? Like, they go up? Yeah. And they come back down. They're gonna go up to the, the end of the world, man. <laughs> yeah, like, all these guys gonna be, I'm gonna call Henry, flat world, and he's gonna fall off, man. Jesus. Man. Yeah. Hey, man, you gotta love your flat around, you know? Yeah. yeah, no, shout out. Henry, <laughs> we love you. And we know you don't believe that anymore, I think. Right? I don't know. I hope you won't. He would, just tell, he, would, <laughs> he would just tell me about, I, I forgot, that was like a couple weeks ago. He like, thought the world was flat and he had like, this whole thing. I'm like, Henry. No. No. You don't need to explain anything no. to me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go on a plane and you can literally see the curvature of the earth. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We're not getting yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're not, not getting it. Oh, no, no, no. One time I watched this YouTube video and it honestly, like, for like a split second, kind of convinced me the world no. was flat for like a little bit. And then I kind of like. 
So on that note, I think we should probably wrap this yeah, shit up before we get too deep. It's crazy. <laughs> it was actually, it was nuts. The video is actually, I don't know, man. Okay, Malik, awesome. we don't need to hear your damn conspiracy theories. <laughs> how the earth is flat. No, it's not. Man. No. Oh, shut the fuck up. What a, what a turn of events, eh? We went from barbering Barbering. to flat earth. This is kind of how it goes, though. We just come in with a set topic, and then we just always... Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's the best part about else. it. Just shooting the shit with the boys. You know. mm-hmm. All right. Boys, cool if I wrap it up? Yeah. Is, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. it how long has it been, Matt? Three minutes. What? That felt like two minutes. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you're watching this right now, please like, comment, and subscribe to what you're saying, boys. Please share on all social platforms. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, TikTok, Facebook. And don't forget to donate to Tanner's Totes. They have a, do they still have the bin at the compound? They still have the bin at the compound until May 5th and uh, my place until May 5th. And if you want to donate money, I'm going to Costco and buying the good shit. You know what compound I'm is on 98th Street and 107th Avenue, just a little bit. It's on the screen right now. Yeah, we'll, yeah, right we'll, there, figure, right we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Compound, we'll, we'll, we'll put it compound <laughs> Club. Club. Make sure you donate if you can. Um, we appreciate you guys watching, rocking with us like always. Love you guys always. Uh, peace.